Do you smell what I smell? Do you smell what I smell? A fart, a fart, wafting through the breeze, saying yes, no, please, Mayor McCheese. The, the smell, smell of death, death and disease. Do you say what I say? Do you say what I say? A, a hip, hip, a hip. Save the upper lip for a trophy I'll display upon my wall. For a trophy I'll display on my wall. Hello, everybody. And welcome to T-Bog, the beginnings of greatness. I am Matt Rhodes, and with me is uh, Joey Livingston. Special victim to the guest host. Special victim to the guest guest host. I hope you all had a, a fantastic Groundhog Day, seeing that little hairy weasel come up out of that hole. He didn't, didn't see a shadow, so spring is near. Question. Yes. Why did you make me sing that song? Well, uh, I'd been thinking about that. That song had been stuck in my head uh, the other day. And I was singing it in the shower and making up words. But the, the first part about the, uh, the fart, the fart, wafting through the breeze, that was, I was at McDonald's and I <laughs> smelled a real bad fart. And uh, I was standing next to a statue of uh, Mayor uh, McCheese. Of Mayor McCheese. Yeah. But, but I guess that your question answers, is, that answers why the question you, of why you right. sang the song. So, what I asked you is, why did you make me sing the song? Because you have a good voice and I didn't want to sing by myself. The kind of voice that I have is not made to sing fart songs sure it is your, your voice is very versatile on uh many keys and many subjects so it's like asking um Pavarotti to sing um the elmo goes potty song <laughs> that would be good it'd be like uh Li liberace playing uh twinkle twinkle little star i guess or chopsticks. Yeah. Chopsticks. It's really not a good comparison with because because chopsticks and Mary Had a Little Lamb are classic uh beginner songs. You don't begin <laughs> when you're teaching your children music, you don't you don't, you know, blow into the uh the, the key pipe Deep. and then teach them how to sing Do You Smell What I Smell? Do you smell what I but uh as you was sing as you were singing it, did you enjoy singing it while you were singing it? No. You didn't like it at all? No. Uh, I could see how a, a singer, a true singer like yourself, would be kind of uh, weary of singing a song like that. But I do thank you for singing that. It just me. strikes me that after we finished our first pony show mm -hmm. and our first wine and cheese tasting, mm -hmm. that we were on our way up. Right. And, and now you just want to go back to fart jokes. You're, well, you're, you're dragging, and we talked about cummerbunds last week, right. and the classy, and how cummerbunds are classy. Mm -hmm. Farts are not classy. They they are not classy, but the the way we sang the song, I believe, was classy. We we sung it in a classy way. We we made farts classy in that song. I think you made a mockery of opera. No, no, I wouldn't say I made a mockery of opera. I didn't make a mockery of anything except whoever cut that uh, cut that wind <laughs> at McDonald's. I wonder what they ate. It smelled like it was a fish fillet, but uh, that and that's why why I put disease and death because it smelled horrid. <laughs> um, speaking of the cummerbund, I, I've thought of a new uh, new item we could maybe sell. Let me let me tell you about it. All right, and this could be for, this is kind of a big item. Uh, hold on, before you do that, I want to open the kimono a little bit, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
show the audience some leg. You got me? Yeah. Okay. Full frontal. So, so last week, um, we uh, didn't have the normal energy that we do. Right. And that's because we're experimenting on how to build our show. Correct. And, and so you and I got together that Friday, mm-hmm. and we, we didn't script our show. But right. we bullet pointed. It. We, out, we decided. It a little bit. We decided the things that we were going to talk about, w- how we were going to progress, etc. Right. And and what we what I found from that experience was that uh, doing our show that way was almost like watching a comedy three times before we, and then watching it the fourth time in front of an audience. Right. And you yeah. you've seen the jokes. Right. You know, um, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because cummerbunds are classy. That. That was a great joke. Right. Cumberbuns are classy. And yeah. that, that Friday... I mean, when, not a joke. I mean, that, seriously. Right. Cumberbuns right. are classy. And that Friday when we were outlining it, it was real funny. Super right. Super funny. Y'all should have been, was, I was y'all in, been there. You, I was in tears laughing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It would have been so funny right. if you had watched us that night. Right. So... Big mistake. Big mis- big we'll never mistake. do that big again. Big mistake on their part. We'll never prepare for our show again. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Big never, mistake. Never Mm-mm. prepared. Mm-mm. 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 Some people say always prepared. No, never prepared. You're wrong. That's right. You're wrong. Wrong, 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 Preparation wrong, wrong, wrong. is the road to failure. Right. Preparation H for horrible. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, Very well said. All right. But uh, uh, I really want to consider... Uh, how classy cummerbunds are and that you know we've been wanting to make t-shirts right but why make t-shirts why not make silkscreen cummerbunds right and and just to emp- emphasize how classy cummerbunds are you just you show somebody wearing it on the front mm-hmm. you know classy right. guy uh, with the the ruffled tuxedo right uh and a cumber wearing his cummerbund proud as can be that's a classy guy okay and then to the right you say t-bog cummerbunds are classy I mean, we can't go wrong with that. Yeah. So and I submit that to our audience. If we made a cum, if we made cummerbunds, could we work together to start the next trend in fashion of wearing cummerbunds with everything? Right. Why not, should we have to wear just, them with tuxedos? Not just tuxedos and funerals. Yeah. Just anything. So Jeans. we came up with that idea Friday. Right. And we were pitching it, but we, you know, we were out of wind. Yeah. We were but, out of wind. But it was a, it's a brilliant idea. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was your idea. Well, and then we, we, we started uh, both elaborating on it, and it came to yeah. just perfection. Yeah. So but why not class up the world a little bit? Right. By wearing cummerbunds with all of our clothing. Jeans, uh, swimsuits. Jogging shorts. Jogging shorts. Uh, you know, just anything. Anything. Wear, you know, Yoga wear, pants. Wear, wear, I mean, do you sleep in your underwear? Wear it to bed. Right. Wear it to bed. Yeah. Wear, wear like a little... Uh, Pajamas, or if you sleep in your underwear, or if you sleep naked, wear a cummerbund to bed. Nobody sleeps naked. People sleep naked. Uh, what's yeah. it, who's who's that uh, famous person? Uh, no, he's a t- he's a, uh, a, a game show host. Uh, he sleeps naked. Somebody broke into his hotel room and he chased him out. Uh, Pat Sajak. No, people don't sleep naked, man. Who who who's the uh, 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 Jeopardy host? Pat Sajak. Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek. Jeopardy, cha- yeah, that's right. Alex yeah. Trebek chased out uh, somebody at his hotel room, and he, uh, Alex Trebek was butt naked because he sleeps naked. That's an urban legend. Nobody nobody sleeps naked. Okay. I asked my mom. She told me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, if your mom says it, then I believe it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we, 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 we will. We need to <laughs> start doing this cummerbund thing. But I have yeah, but moving on. another idea for an item. Right. Let's hear your new idea. All right. We live in the uh, south right now. It doesn't snow here in Pensacola. I just, By the way, I just had somebody text me saying, if y'all thought cummerbunds were boring last week, dot, 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 LOL. Uh, <laughs> hilarious. Anyway, what's up with these people? Huh? Is there any way to keep that person from watching our show? Mm, yeah, but it, we're going to have to do it physically. Okay. Are, are they local? Very local. We'll do it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, we live in the south. It doesn't snow here. However, uh, and it's a kind of a bigger item 
maybe a little more expensive. I don't know how much it's going to uh, cost to make a toboggan sled. T bog toboggan. A T bog toboggan. A sled. Yeah. And, and we're going to sell them to all the Floridians. No, all over the uh, world. T bog toboggan. And uh, a T boggan. A T boggan. Right. And but then. See that. That redefines what we mean by when we when we say are you teabogging? That's that's true, but it could mean two things. You could say are you it, three things? Are you teabogging on your teabogging? Right. Are you teabogging on your teabogging? Are you t Are you watching teabog while you're teabogging on your teabogging? Are you watching teabog on your teabogging? <laughs> we could we could m- right. make sleds teabog. Tobog- T-boggin sleds, right? But we could put little feet on them mm. so that they could work as sofas. Oh, that'd be. S- and then people could watch T-bog on their T-boggins. See, that's how you class it up. Cushioned T-boggins, and on the back it says T T-bog T-boggins are classy. That's right. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a great idea. Uh, it's going to take a little more effort. I just came up with that, by the way. T-boggins are classy. I like that. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. It's, it's, uh, the because tea boggins are classy, of course, and especially if we make them, right? Uh, they're gonna be real classy, like you said. Right. The, the sofa idea that's what great. I meant. Tea boggins have not been classy, but now they are. Now, now they are, right? Just because we said it here on this, see, show. I like this because when we when we first started doing this show, we 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 worked real hard to come up with ways to promote our show, right. uh, get funding, mm-hmm. etc., and and the ideas were not so good. They, right. they, they, they nose dived, mm. you know, but that's what happens when you, when, when you're just starting out, you, you, you know, you, you, you try your best, right? But inevitably things don't work out, right? But that's the test. You got to keep trying. Well, you got to keep going. Yeah. You got to climb that hill. That's right. And this is, these, these two things are the winners. These are the things that are going to cummerbund and the toboggan. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just look forward to the future. There's um, there's many more things to come that we just haven't even thought about yet that are going to be great, super duper. The, and uh, I think the tea bargain that we make is going to. I like the sofa idea, and we got to have some nice polished, uh, like wood wood grain on the side. Yeah. Uh, we have a viewer who says, and maybe that, a uh, cummerbund on the back. We have a viewer who says that. Our viewers should be called T boggins. Uh, wait, she says toe boggins. Toe boggins? No, I don't like that at all. I don't even like T boggins. No, I like T boggers. They're T boggers. T boggers. Yeah. Yeah. We're not the only T boggers. Right. There's T boggers all just over the this. Voice of the T boggers. Right. We are the platform for all the T boggers across the world. Oh, the, the viewer corrected themselves. What'd they say? Excuse me, your viewer oh, can be called snap. Toboggan. If viewer means tens of thousands of people, then I guess that's you're right. right. Viewer whose name is Legion. Right. His name is Apple. 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 Verizon. Development team, hello. The whole Best Buy Corp. Hello to you. Mark Cuban and all his sons and daughters. This person knows nothing. They know nothing about us. They need to watch us more. Right. Then they'll learn. Yeah. Learn something on T Bog. Keep watching us. We're go- we're gonna fill your mind full of cool stuff and classy stuff. That's right. So um I had a interesting experience last night. I'd like to hear about it. I couldn't sleep. Mm. I was bereft with anxiety. Have you ever had that? Yes. What were you anxious about? Mm, I can't recall at the moment. It was something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sometimes when I get anxious, it, it's usually on Saturday nights, and sometimes it has to do with just everything that we have to do today, you right? Know, on the, on the on Sundays. But, anyways, for whatever reason, I was anxious. Uh, gotcha. Last night, a lot of just nervous right. energy, and I, and I couldn't get to sleep. Right. And I, I saw this commercial uh, a couple of weeks ago about uh, Zequil. Have you heard of? Mm-hmm. Zequil. Zequil, the non-habit-forming sleeping aid, exactly by the makers of Nyquil. Nyquil. 
right. I, you know, I don't know why they didn't think of this sooner because, because you know, all kinds of uh, people, uh, yeah. though they won't admit it, take, uh, NyQuil. take NyQuil to fall asleep. Right. Because NyQuil will knock you out. I've done it on many occasions, take NyQuil to sometimes not fall asleep, sometimes in the middle of the day just to, for a little pick-me-up. If you fight through it, it kind of uh, gives you energy. If you fight through the sleep, then you get a little energy. Try it one day. Anyway, I'm sorry. I interrupted your story. Sometimes I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where to go. Anyways, uh, so I had bought it a while back, but I, but I, you know, I, I one night when I couldn't sleep, I tried it. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, the instructions. The instructions are take two, right? Every no more than two every twenty four hours. No more than two a day. It says do not take more than two each day. Or, and it says you know, uh, it, it it warns you overdosing can have very uh, negative results to your health, can mm-hmm. affect your health in a very negative way. Right. Then you get super specific, but it's just like do not. Okay. No so, more than two a day. Yeah, so the first so some nights back I took two Zequil. Okay. And I I did I went I went to sleep. And I woke up the next day. Problem was the next day uh, I felt uh, these. I felt like my, my emotions were on edge, mm-hmm. like like more than usual. Right. I'm, like like I'm, like I, all my nerves were right on the surface, and uh, yeah, you know, and I felt like, like, uh, like my, a, a I felt ticking my, time bomb. Right. Right. Like I felt myself getting upset at uh, at the slightest thing, like deeply upset. Right. Yeah, it's not a good way. But I had to watch myself. I had to say, you know, what's going on here? Right. You know, and so I, I I just had to acknowledge what I was going through and I didn't like project it on the people right. that were upsetting me. Right. You 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 had it you was a ticking time bomb, yeah. but you had it under control. I don't, I don't do that. But you you had, you had it under right. control. Right. 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 Yeah. I don't I don't take out my emotions on other people. Right. You You're know. a nice, kind hearted a fellow. Well, I don't like to brag, but I appreciate you saying it. I don't like to boast, but I like butter on my breakfast toast. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll brag about you. Oh, uh, when when you said boast, it reminded me of that lyric from the uh, uh, the Sugar Hill Gang. I don't mean to brag, I don't mean to boast, but I like, I think it's butter, but I like butter on my breakfast toast. Uh, You were saying? Jesus. Jesus so, Christ on crutches. What's going on? <laughs> so I didn't take Ezekiel for quite some time, okay. you know, because I, I didn't want to feel like that. And I didn't know whether that caused that, right. but I don't, I don't know if there has ever been a time before where I have been that much on edge. Like I wasn't nervous, but I just felt this, uh, th- these type of just this emotional pull that I had not felt before. Right. Um, so, uh, this is a dark place. Very dark place. So, um, so I decided not to to lay off it because I didn't want to take the chance of that happening again. Right. You know, so weeks pass, months pass, and they're still sitting in my bathroom. And 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 last night I I was really having a hard time going to sleep. So I thought, well, maybe it wasn't caused by that because supposedly this is just harmless. You know, non-addictive. Yeah. Right. And the, and they don't throw all kinds of doctors' warnings at you when they advertise it. So maybe it was just a coincidence. Yeah. You know? So I went back in the bathroom and I was looking at it and I was re- reading the instructions again. Take two every 24 hours. No more than two in a 24-hour period. No more than Whenever two. you choose to take it, make sure that it's that it's more than 24 hours before you do it again. Got to be 24 exactly. hours. Exactly. Yep. And, uh, and then I read the other warnings. Mm-hmm. And it says at the top, it says, do not take with any other, and I can't remember the, the word here. I'm going to. Um, mispronounce this no okay doubt. but I, but i think it was diephyhydrine diephyhydrine yeah All do right. not take with any other diephyhydrine product diephyhydrine hci okay okay and i was looking at that and i was like i've seen that word before what you is s- that you see you, you know, seen that uh, you, you hear that that, that sound quality that's almost like ephedrine right. in there uh-huh. okay well all kinds of uh allergy products have uh medicines in them that the, the words the, the the names of the medicines are, are are variations of that kind of sound quality so i thought 
have I seen that in an allergy product before? Mm-hmm. And I, I pulled out this bottle of Benadryl. Right. And I look on the front. It's generic Benadryl, by the way. You know, it's one of those generic products that say compare to right. Benadryl. Right, right. You know, so it's essentially Benadryl. So like I look on the front. It's not like called Benadryl. Chim- it's chim- called diethyhydrine HCI. That's literally what it's called. On the Benadryl. On on the bottle. That's that the, is generic the generic name. Benadryl. Okay. Right. It's like son of a gun. Mm-hmm. Well, how much, how much diethyhydrine HCI is in Zequil? Right. 25 milligrams per tablet. So that's got to be way more than... If they're going to put that warning on it, right. how much Benadryl? How much was on the Benadryl? 25 milligrams per tablet. Same thing. How, Same thing. How many does it say you take of the Benadryl? So, so that's the point I'm getting at. Quit <laughs> rushing my punchline. <laughs> no, I'm having a conversation with you. Jeez, my knees. So, <laughs> Zequil says take two. No more than 24 hours. Do not take more. Benadryl says, eh, don't take any more than six. Whoa. That's uh, six in a 24 hour period. It's conflicting. Same amount. Same medicine. Exact same thing. So now the question is, does Benadryl want you to die? <laughs> or the, or, or Z, is or Z-Quil, Zequil freaking out for no reason. Right. Freaking yeah. out for no reason. Yeah. Uh, you got to read the labels. But Benadryl so, has been around for ever. Yeah. Forever. And people, you know. You know, I give it to my children all the time to put them to sleep. No, I don't do that. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> that was good. It was a good joke. Though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, it's Benadryl is largely harmless mm-hmm. unless you you know take a bottle right. of it, or unless yeah. you're allergic to Benadryl. Yeah. You know. That's so, it. what are we freaking out about? Right. You, could t- you can literally take Zequil for your allergies. Yeah. Might as well. So. It's all right. I've I've heard that Benadryl helps you helps you sleep. Yeah, Benadryl does make you drowsy. That's true. Right. So, so that's why. So that's why Nyquil got it in their head. Hey, let's just remar- Let's just remarket this stuff as sleep medicine. Right. Let's just throw some Benadryl in a, sleep in a bottle, and here's your non-addictive sleep. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll give it a new brand. Yeah. Might as well just be taking Benadryl. Repurpose it. Yeah. So what about people who take Benadryl during the day? Warning. During the Taking daytime? Zequil might stop sneezing. <laughs> taking Zequil might stop itching. Warning, taking Zequil might make your eyes not red anymore. <laughs> Warning, taking too much Zequil will kill you. <laughs> uh, Warning, uh, if you like hay fever, do not take Zequil. <laughs> Some people have suffered from loss of hay fever. <laughs> you don't want to lose your hay fever. Keep on taking that Zequil. Warning, if you get a bee sting, do not take Zequil. It will make it stop stinging. <laughs> Warning, if you get bed bugs in your leg, <laughs> don't take the Zequil. <laughs> oh, Zequil. Oh, Zequil, you sly fox. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you pronounce the name? Zequil or do you pronounce it Zquil? Because it's three. It's Zquil. 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 Well, I would say Zquil, but it's a lot of Z's in front of the quail. Yeah, just S- trying to be fancy. We should just call it Sleeping Quail, like the bird. A sleeping Quail. Hmm. Or or Sleeping Pin. Sleeping Pin. Warning: If you like throat swelling. <laughs> Some patients have experienced <laughs> reduction in throat swelling <laughs> while taking Zequil. <laughs> <laughs> you better not take Zequil if you don't <laughs> if you want your throat to swell up. Your throat's gonna swell up. Some people who are allergic to peanuts have uh, suffered from alleviation to their peanut allergies while taking Zequil. <laughs> Seek doctor's advice before ingestion. Se- medical attention. Is there a uh uh, uh, overdose hotline on that bottle, like a probably. <laughs> yeah, I didn't look for the overdose hotline, but they were very serious. They were like, "Do not take more than two every twenty-four." It's like, why? I think I, it's I think it's that they don't want you thinking that you can take sleep medicine. They don't want you to get it in your head that right. it's okay to take sleep medicine three times a day. Right. I think that's the thing. I don't think it has anything to Could do be. with, even though they're framing it that way. They're they're, they're making it sound like it's going to poison you. It's crazy. And Benadryl, which has been around forever, same dosage, 
six a day. Exact same dose. Twenty five milligrams of diethylhydrine. Act the 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 main and only active ingredient in both medications. So, Benadryl, Zequel, same thing. Same thing. Exactly. Same Ident- thing. Ident- identiquivocal. Identiquivocal. Yep. I like that word. Uh, yeah, that's nuts. Nuts. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about Groundhog Day. <laughs> I enjoy Groundhog Day. A lot of people don't like it. The main reason I love Groundhog Day is because they show the movie Groundhog Day all day long. Good movie. And I love that movie. Bill Murray. Classy movie. Yeah, very classy movie. Uh, so Bill I'll, Murray. Classy man. Classy man. I love Bill Murray. If Bill Murray was a woman, I'd marry him. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. We, 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 we got a text. Commenter wants to know if I'm a pharmacist. Are you a pharmacist? Yes. <laughs> Warning, do not take uh, advice from Joy Livingston concerning medical problems. Consult your physician, ingestion. not Joey Livingston. Zequel may cause lack of hives. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> some, some, some patients have suffered from rash reduction while taking Zequel. <laughs> Warning. If you got that just right amount of jock itch where it feels good to itch, but you just don't want it to go away, do not take z you, you, you know that jock itch you get where it, when you're scratching Do it, not take z if you feel, are fond of mosquito bites. <laughs> if you love mosquito bites, do not take z But well, you know how you'd be scratching the uh, jock itch and it kind of feels good to scratch it, you know? But you, you kind of don't want it to go away because it, it's kind of a nice feeling when you're scratching, you know, by your leg. You know, inner thigh. You you don't uh, see me eye to eye on that. Well, next time you get <laughs> next time you get the itch, uh, keep it around for a little while. Which would call you? Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, I'll I'll show you what to do. And uh, but next time you get the itch, try to keep it around a little while. The idea is to uh, just kind of contain it, not really get rid of it. Let's see what our tea boggers have to say. Come so on, tea boggers. Just want like one person who <laughs> somehow figured out what my phone number is or texting me directly. Tea boggers, won't you send us a text and we won't respond to you. Mm. Our tea boggers are, are demanding that we stop being a non interactive program. I like I think I think one day we should do a show where we talk for five minutes mm-hmm. and then I turn my phone on and we zoom into my phone right and and put the put the phone up to the microphone and just let the rest of the show be a, a five <laughs> like a five minute echo uh, layering upon layering upon layering of our show that'd be nice we we, we started that uh, at one point yeah, but but I didn't want to drive my audience nuts but I'm but I but I've got a I've got a little bit of a um of a uh, what's the what's the guy's name? Andy. Andy. Andy Sandberg. No. Andy. Andy Rockefeller. No. Andy. Andy Richter. No. Now, are, are you talking about a real person? Yes. Man on the moon. Man on the moon. Yes. Andy Kaufman. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Got a little Andy Kaufman in you. A little Andy Kaufman in you. You know, Andy Kaufman. <laughs> you awesome. got a little Andy Kauf- <laughs> Kaufman in you. <laughs> Bend over in Kaufman. <laughs> oh, that was, that was my Somebody clue. Somebody did cough. Somebody was coughing back there. It was my clue. Yeah, nice. But, uh, yeah, I got a little, you want a little Andy Kaufman in you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a little Andy Kaufman in you? No. Nah. Would you like some? I do. I have a little bit in me. <laughs> You know uh, the brilliance of Andy Kaufman. He is sticks that, with you. Is that he liked to tell? He liked to do jokes that really upset his audience. Right, and he he didn't want to let them know it was a joke. Right, he, he just wanted to make himself laugh. Like when he uh, like when he 
<laughs> like when he asserted that there was not a female wrestler alive that could beat him at wrestling. Right. And he would, you know, the people would challenge him and he would just he would just clobber him. Yeah. You know. And he I wouldn't no holds barred. <laughs> that was funny. He went on uh, uh Letterman with uh the wrestler Jerry Lawler. <coughs> and I'm I'm not sure if Letterman was uh in on it. But uh, Kaufman and Jerry Lawler got into like a real fight, and uh, of course it was it was a joke, but nobody knew it was a joke. It was just yeah. like a big ruckus on uh, late night TV. So the Herbster says, uh, "I don't know that movie Groundhog Day was way too redundant for me." Look, oh. at, look at me, look at me, Herbie. Show him, tell him, tell Herbie, him. look at me, Del Toro. Negative two points. Negative two points, Herbster. Minus two. That's right. Herbie Del Toro doesn't like Groundhog Day. Says it's too redundant. Redundant. Anyways, lots of comments. People, redundant. listen. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me right here. Right here. Look at me, people. T-Bog is a non-interactive program. And I keep being pushed to interact. And that's not the purpose of this. Pro this program is art. It is... Um, art, entertainment, culture. Nu nouveau riche. Ooh, I like that. That's right. It's, it's noir. Noir. These are words that I'm figuring out how to use. I think you're using them great. Thanks. I love them. And uh, Herbie Del Toro and the rest of you guys need to, need to learn... Need to learn that T-Bog is not about talking to you. That's right. T it's about teaching T -Bog you. T-Bog is not about you. It's not about you. It's about the entire human race learning from these two guys right here. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Matt. Thank you. Somebody texted me. Somebody texted me. Uh, let's see what it says. Will you quit being distracted by I, people who love us? Someone said, I bet the fabulous moolah could whip his ass. Talking about Andy Kaufman, I guess. Fabulous moo. She, w I think she was a female wrestler. Oh, I don't know. He probably wrestled her. I did bet you watch, she did. Did you watch Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling when you were a kid? Mm-mm. Oh. Uh, was, that, was that like a separate program? Yeah, Glow. Oh, no. Nah, yeah. no. Gorgeous Ladies that. of Wrestling. I used to watch... That the was like the, the female equivalent of WWF. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Was it any good? Like good fights, or was it just because they were women, people watched it? I think that was the, that was yeah. the thing. Yeah. Uh, did you used to watch... This was back... I think it was late 80s. I never watched it. Early 90s. I never watched it. I don't, I never don't, watched Glow? I don't watch that. But, but I'm talking about the roller derby. When the, it was late 80s, early 90s, maybe middle 90s, no early 90s and these women these like big women with muscles and stuff would go around the uh the rink and try to knock each other over and in the middle of the rink was a pool with alligators it was on t it was an awesome show i used to watch that all the time hmm. yeah i don't think i ever watched roller derby american gladiators i love that did show. watch american oh gladiators. man i loved yeah. american gladiators yeah. The, uh, that was lots of fun. What what they called the uh, the last stage they did? Oh, listen, we have six minutes left in the show, and I wanted to teach you something. I'm all ears. Yeah. So, a few shows back, we uh, had a staring contest at the beginning of the show. Okay. Yes. And as you recall, I think I won all of them. On the show. On the show. I think I won every single one. Okay. Okay. So, what you didn't know is that I have a secret. Tell me a secret. Yeah. I wanted to teach you the secret of winning all staring contests, or at least all staring contests against people who don't know this secret. Okay. Uh, I want to know this. Yeah. So, I don't know if I want to tell you this. It's a, it's a valuable, a valuable secret. Please teach me. Sensei, please teach me. Okay. Since you asked nicely. So my secret is that I have deep-seated anger, bitterness, and sadness. How can I acquire the, the assets? Mm -hmm. How can I become mm -hmm. like that? 
It's easy. Yeah. How? All you have to do is uh, make lots of mistakes in your life that you deeply regret. Where should I start? <laughs> start now. I know, yeah. but where should I start? Not when. I, I, it works best when you when when it's with family, people that mean a lot to you. Yeah, that's oh, that's where the really oh. deep seated. That's the easy part. That's right. That's right. Those are the easy ones. So what you have to do, mm-hmm. um, you have to harness that energy. Okay. It's just kind of when you begin the staring. See, see the see the st- the, the staring contest is all about who smiles first, who right. laughs first. Well, of course you're not going to want to be happy. No. Nah. Duh. If you're happy, you're going to smile. Exactly. When I'm happy, I smile. So <laughs> you want to. <laughs> case in point. Case in point. Your problem is that you're too happy. So I just I need to become like morose, very right. melancholy. Very emo. 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 Right. All right. Uh, you just got to harness. Let me try to harness something. Do you want to have a quick that staring horrible, contest? Horrible, horrible dark energy. You want to have a quick staring contest yeah, and see if it. I can harness a little bit of that okay. dark energy? Okay, here we go. Mark. Three, two, one. You got me. You know what I was saying in my head when I was doing it? You are a failure as a student. I was saying, I hate puppies and puppies hate me. <laughs> See, that's hate not dark. And puppies hate that me. That makes you laugh. <laughs> that's actually a happy thought. What's going on? It's a happy thought in disguise. So, so what I was saying was... That's, I hate puppies and puppies hate me is a happy thought in disguise. Because puppies always make people smile. It's because you begin right. to take it ironically. That's true. I think that's what got me at the end. Yeah. Now, what were you thinking about? That's what I want to know so I can learn. You know, it's something that transcends words. It's that. Can you do you know that how your soul, dance? You know how your soul gets robbed of, of all possible emotion? I know how it could get robbed, I guess. Yeah. Oh, you never had you never had that? My you never just been uh You never had your, your apathetic What's going on? This is I like that ringtone. Hello? Oh baby, Hello? won't hey. you sip on my polar pop because my yes, I'm, I'm on polar my show. pop tastes good no what did you want what did you want polar pops running you can down tell me now my there's nothing between us and, and the, the t-boggers that, that you can't share through my hood. don't be weird joey's talking on the phone to someone and i like that Call me right Apple in the middle of the show, but she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to share with the tea, the other tea bloggers. Why not? You got me. So she called. She she called to share something about tea bog. I don't know. She called. She was like, "Are you doing your show? Yeah. Oh well, I'll call you. But why? Why? Right. Why not just tell me? You know. Right. The so we could all hear. I mean, it's the, just, the, the world needs to know us. It's just the 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 deep most inner workings of my marriage. Right. One, you know, what's the big deal? No big deal. She should have just talked. She is so crazy. Man, she's so crazy. No. What's going on? So next this? week, uh, and we're out of time. We're almost out of time here. Next week, we're going to talk about Matthew's tooth. Somebody said. It we're going to talk about your tooth next week, right? Yeah. You're no, no, no. Sh- okay. nah, uh, uh, uh. Um, Save it. Sorry, uh, one more viewer comment before we go. Sounds like Joey needs Lexapro instead of z What? Let me tell you something. You have enough anger, sadness, and soul robbing. You can channel that and put it towards positive things. Like winning staring contests. Like winning contest. staring contests. It's that simple. That simple. Yeah. Or, um, you know... Uh, 
bullying all your friends and family into submission so that uh, right. That's you can have success while they fail. That's a good skill. Yeah. Great skill. That's right. Starting with you. Right back at you. <laughs> all right. That's the end of our show. Thank you for watching. Uh, and for those who uh, who didn't comment, we love you especially. For those of you who did, you're breaking all the rules. We don't break rules on this show. No breaking rules on our no show. No breaking rules on T-Bog. Good T-Boggers follow all rules. Following rules is classy. Just like cummerbunds and T-Boggins. That's right. All right. Don't you also call scarfs T-Boggins? I, I looked that up before uh, the show, and uh, I thought it wasn't a scarf. I thought it was those hats with the little right. balls. Yeah. So we, we could do hat. sleds and... Okay, so here's my idea. Hats. A, a T-Boggin hat on the front, a guy wearing a hat says T-Boggins are classy. Right, and and the, the balls that hang down, the, the strands, yeah. the little, fabric would make a mosaic uh, little, of your little, face and my face. Little sign that says balls are classy. On the back. Yeah. Yeah. Right on the balls. Yeah, on the back of the balls. Right. And then uh, our faces on on the front. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Balls are classy. Peace out, guys. Love y'all.